Hi Scorpio and welcome to your uh, weekly uh, healing cards, healing uh, healing angelic numbers and crystal sessions with me. This is from December 20 to 26. I want to wish all of you happy holidays out there. For those of you that celebrate Happy Annika as well. Um, also, you know, uh, Merry Christmas to those of you that say Merry Christmas. Uh, Feliz Navidad. I only know a few languages. Buon Natale. Joyeux Fet or Joyeux Noel to those out there and uh, Feliz Navidad. I wish that uh, on this day that you celebrate, uh, whoever you celebrate with is the, with the people that you cherish the most. And uh, I will have some spray here for those of you. So just put some spray and let's get started with your healing cards, okay? Now remember, uh, Scorpio, you, do, do, you will have, you will have uh, three videos out, okay? Three videos, I cut them in three so that I could give myself a break in between. Now I have these new healing cards that I brought in. This is called the Inner Child and this is uh, Isha Learner and Mark Learner. Beautiful cards. Um, so there is a message in here for you. All you need to do is, uh, I will have to read to you what the card is about and so that you can understand what is this Inner Child energy that you are receiving. And I will, like I said, um, pull the cards down on my desk here and intuitively choose the card with the divine what is meant for you, okay? And if, so they already showed me the card. I just have to make sure that this, I need to take this card out. Okay, here we go. So the card is out, Scorpio. And let's see what is taking place. Mm, okay. So you got the heart's energy. Let's look at this together. You got the seven of hearts. The seven of hearts. This is your card. If you want to take a screenshot of this card, and uh, maybe you could see something that is meant for you here. But this is the message, okay? Seven is a mystical number representing visions, dreams, and contemplation. It is, it is associated with the seven chakras, the seven colors of the rainbow, the seven pillars of wisdom in the Middle East, the seven sisters of the Pleiadians, and the seven stars of the Big Dipper in the constellation of the Great Bear, which is the Ursa Major. The peaceful mermaid in this card meditates below and an arch of seven winged hearts in a submerged Atlantan temple. She wears a seven-pointed star symbolizing the light of spiritual protection and guidance. In a sense, she is stargazing. Scorpio, when you meditate on universal truth and secrets, you can expand your consciousness beyond the boundaries of time and space. Often at this point, you become aware of the divine abundance the abundance that lives within your heart as well as a greater need for focus and clarity. This may be a time to withdraw your physical energies and settle into the spiritual here and now. Reacquaint yourself with the power of hidden resources and balance your outer desires with your inner desires. Take time to be alone and nurture your soul. Create your own little world or sanctuary where external chaos cannot include, intrude. Sweet messages come to you in these heartfelt moments. So this is your card, the seven of hearts. Look how beautiful that is. It really is beautiful. Seven of hearts. Okay. Now uh, we're going to get started with the Ascendant Masters. And uh, what are the messages with the Ascendant Masters? So if you did have a question, the answer is yes. Okay, so the answer, if you did have a question, the answer is yes. Okay, give me a second and I'm going to read it to you. This is from Ganesha, Ganesh, Ascendant Master Ganesh. And 
Scorpio, it says all the doorways are open for you and the pathway is clear. Any previous obstacles have been removed. Keep a positive mindset about the situation to ensure the best possible outcome. And the additional meanings is the answer to your question is yes. This is a good time to make a move or change. Your prayers have been heard and are being answered. You have positive support for the situation and keep the faith. And it says here that uh, Ganesh is uh, also is very supportive of writers and helps anyone who is in a bind. Okay, Ganesh energy. That's beautiful. Now let's look at your animal totem of the week. Okay, you've got a few cards here. First one you got is that uh, uh, your um, animal totem is the Aina, and it's uh, with Archangel Shofiel. It says, dare to be different, Scorpio. Dare to be different. So if you do see an Aina, maybe where you live, or maybe on the internet, or you're watching a movie, maybe that movie or some, something in significance to that is there for you, okay? So take a look out there. Then you have the bear energy. Archangels Uriel and Jophiel are with you. It says, use power with wisdom. Use power with wisdom. Next card you got is the kangaroo. Archangels Rokiel, Jersisa, and Sandophone are with you. And uh, it says, be a force for good, Scorpio. Be a force for good. So you got the kangaroo, the bear, and the hyena. Beautiful. Now we're going to look into your angel numbers, your angelic numbers, to see what is the meaning behind them. Okay, well, you got the sacred number of zero, zero. I am observant. So, Scorpio, ask you, ask, I'm sorry, Scorpio, angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. So you got the zero, zero. That's nice. The next one you got here is number five. I am adaptable. So there is changes that are taking place here. Scorpio, flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. So you got the five. And then you got number 25, I am intelligent. Scorpio, you have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. So these are your numbers. You know, maybe you might see like 255 or 552 or 255 or you could see 525 or 500 or 2500. Okay, or 005 or 0025. These are a lot of combinations and this will be a clarification. This will be a confirmation of the reading that I'm giving you today. All right. Now we're going to look into the sacred geometry. If you check underneath the video, okay, I do have um, where you could buy this uh, book. This book came to me with the cards from Emily Kish, Kiss Varda. She does listen to my channel because she's the one that offered me this these cards four years ago, or I don't know how long I've been on YouTube now, and I've been using them ever since. Okay, they're really amazing, they're on point, and they're accurate. Okay, so there will be a lot of information underneath the video. Just follow through, and uh, maybe if you could take a look underneath what is written there for you, you have a place where you could write me or follow me on social media and uh, how to obtain the sacred geometry deck and book. So this is for you, Scorpio. You got a few ones here. You got two. Okay. You got a master number and a frequency number. So uh, there will be affirmations for this card. Okay. So if the affirmation is needed, you will have to write it down and say, so it is at the end. The more of you write it down, the more you're amplifying it for the collective 
and for yourselves, okay? So you got number six. Let's look at number six together. You got Raven Magic. Raven Magic. So, okay, I'm just going to tell you this right now for the new ones that are new people that are here. If you can take a screenshot of this card, because you will need to trace it, okay? You will need to get tracing paper and trace this card out. You don't have to put the same colors there. You, just as long as you trace it out, it's good. Or you could also use it uh, as a um, wallpaper on your phone as well, okay? So this affirmation is pretty long. So I will repeat the first one and the second one slow. So for you, those of you that want to write it down. And then the third one. And this is something that you should be using, all right? This is about releasing fear, heightened intuition, and protection. So, Scorpio, I release all fear. I release all fear and unwanted energies. I release all fear and unwanted energies that no longer serve me. I release all fear and unwanted energies that no longer serve me and are holding me back and are holding me back from reaching my true potential. Again, I release all fear and unwanted energies that no, that no longer serve me and are holding me back from reaching my true potential. Again, I release all fear and unwanted energies that no longer serve me and are holding me back from reaching my true potential. And so it is. Okay, Raven is here to show us where change is inevitable. Some of us fear change, fear the unknown, and fear stepping outside the square. He allows us to see our shadow selves, but rather than us fearing what we see, he shows us how to deal with the obstacles and challenges. Raven acknowledges that changes are difficult, but he shows us how to anticipate the end result by using our perception, wisdom, and intuition. Through Raven, we can release the unwanted and outdated belief systems we carry within our energetic bodies and thus begins our ability to shapeshift and shed. The card numerology is an 11. Okay, practical application. Creating changes within our lives and our energetic body allows us a clearer space to work with our intuition and to gain a higher perception and deeper wisdom. By heightening our perception, we can bring through more messages and visions. There is a strong shamanic presence in this grid. It can also be used in her healing and shaman, shaman work. Sage works well with this template. So if you are going to be tracing this, make sure you make a couple of them. One you could leave in your office where you work, one in your home space, and one in your car if you like. Okay, and the crystals that you could carry with you with this is Labradorite, Black Tourmaline, Black Kyanite, Aquamarine, or and Rose Quartz. Again, Labradorite, Black Tourmaline, Black Kyanite, Aquamarine, and Rose Quartz. And of course, the animal raven is the animal medicine is a raven here, and it's also owl, spider, and wolf. So there's owl, spider, wolf, condor, and starlight essence with the raven. All right, beautiful. And the next one is you got a frequency and that's number 23. Number 23, let's look at this together. So this talks about, this is the 174 frequency Hertz and my body is safe and loved. Again, you do have another affirmation here. I will repeat it slowly the two times and then the third time I'll say it. And um, some of you could say, so it is at the end. Again, the more you affirm, the more you write it down. Um, you could also keep it and uh, say it three times in the day, three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times at night. Okay, so this is your affirmation. My body is loved, safe, and secure. My body is loved, safe, and secure. I am free of physical pain. I am free of physical pain and release all neg negative karmic and emotional energy. And release all negative karmic and emotional energy that has surrounded it. Again, my body is loved, safe, and secure. I am free of physical pain and release all negative karmic 
release all negative karmic and emotional energy that has surrounded it. My body is loved, safe, and secure. I am free of physical pain and release all negative karmic and emotional energy that has surrounded it. So this has shown up. You are experiencing pain. Some, maybe some of you are experiencing pain somewhere within your body. This may be muscular or skeletal in nature or maybe even a headache. You may have illness or a sign of dis-ease that is affecting an organ or bodily system. So chronic stresses such as those involving financial insecurity be, can be a cause of some of the physical pain uh, that we may experience. Studies have shown that genetics too can play a role in our physical health and wellness. Much evidence supports the view, okay, it can also play a significant role in our well-being, physical, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, okay? Uh, disease, as we know, is it isn't usually something that just happens spontaneously. It's something that happens progressively progressively over a period of time okay if we do not attain physical mental emotional and spiritual balance imbalances can eventually manifest into the physical after penetrating through one's or uh, etheric layers so to help you relieve your pain listen to the tone 174 hertz you could go on youtube you'll find many sit or lie down in a quiet place and allow yourself to absorb the frequency of the stone down into your cellular level sending love and positive thoughts to the areas affected. Visualize the pain releasing, moving out of your body and transmuting into a butterfly. Watch it gently flutter as it leaves your physical body and repeat this as often as you require. You may also find it useful to keep a private journal where you can regularly write down your thoughts and feelings. It may be time to look deeper into your pain to see if you can determine an underlying causative, causative emotional or mental issue. It may also be helpful to explore some complementary therapies such as acupuncture, EFT, integrated healing, naturopathy, naturopathy and homopathy to support you on your holistic level. And the card numerology is a three and the crystals that you could use, I do have some here, or that you could carry with you while listening to this is rose quartz, aquamarine, aquamarine Selenite, fluorite, malachite, green calcite, hematite, cellulite, uh, celestite, vogel, wan, voji stones, tiger's eye, lunda stone, shagnite, and smoky quartz. Again, rose quartz, aquamarine, selenite, fluorite, fluorite malachite, green calcite, hematite, cellulite, cel celestite, vogel, one, boji stones, tiger's eye, londa stone, shagnite, or smoky quartz. You just have to carry one. You know, you don't have to carry all of them, okay? That's beautiful. Now, we're going to look at what our beloved universe wants to tell you, Scorpio. All right, I did have to take a crystal up for you, but we'll do this first. Normally, I take out three cards from the Divine Universe to Scorpio. What is the message here? What is the message for Scorpio? You got four cards. Okay, first card is Lessons of Uranus, the planet. Okay, um, radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment. Um, a theme of freedom or commitment. No expectations are the best expectations to have, Scorpio. Next card you got here is Reconciliation. The past... The return of a past soulmate. The return of a past soulmate. Next card you got is attract. Set your intentions high and you know and know you. I'm sorry. Set your intentions high and you know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. And last but not least, you got true love. This is a divine connection. Very nice energy, Scorpio. Beautiful. And now we're going to look at which crystals you will need for this week. You 
got two cards, two crystals. Okay, first one you got is Amazonite. Amazonite. So Amazon, and then you put I-T-E at the end. <laughs> the appearance is green or green blue with milky opalescent white veins. So this is how it looks like. Okay, and the healing properties, it protects against electromagnetic waves. It filters energies, information, and emotions. It strengthens the nervous system and muscles. It promotes open and loving communication, elevates blockages, fear, worry, and stress, and it's calcium-rich, and it helps calcium-related issues. This is good for the heart, the throat, and the third eye. So it promotes compassion and communication, helps the heart and throat chakra, opens intuition and the third eye, and it clears away chakra blockages. Okay, Amazonite. The next card you got is, I hope I can say this right, is ULX, okay. It's U-L-E-X-I-T-E. Ulex, U, U, Exit, Ulexite, 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 and this is how it looks like, okay? And uh, so it's U L E X I T E. Appearance is tra it's transparent, white or clear with silky exterior. The healing properties of this uh, crystal is it magnifies and clarifies everything, it illuminates illuminates path to spiritual growth. Aids in understanding the meaning of dreams, points towards the solutions to problems, enables seeing others' intentions and thoughts, and promotes imagination and creativity. And this is for the crown and third eye. Okay, crown and third eye. So it enhances spiritual perceptive and focus. It promotes meditation and relaxation, aids with visualizations, balances the yin and yang energies, and puts situations into perspective. Beautiful. So these are the crystals and you can use them as long as you need. And last but not least, uh, for those of you that do not know this, my mom asked me to get these cards out for you because she wants to also participate in the readings and give you a card. These are the Jesus cards. This is not about religion. Relate, religion is about Christ consciousness, okay? And the message that is coming towards you. So this is for my mom, Giovannina, to all of you out there. Okay, Scorpio? Scorpio, your card is pray always. Luke 21 36. So 21 36, pray always. And this is the card. And this is your message. So I hope that you enjoyed your healing cards, angelic numbers, and crystal sessions. This is uh again from December 20th to the 26th. Don't forget to like, share, comment. And subscribe. Know that I have your back. And I love you all, my beautiful Scorpios. And don't forget that we are one, we are love, and we are light. And now, let's get started with your other two readings. See you soon.